What's going on everyone? It is August 9th, 2020 and it looks like these berries are good to go. They look like the right size to me, the right color. I don't know, I think something might got to these berries because there's not a lot here on this one. But there were. But still got some on this one. And all the new ones that I planted this year, they're doing really well. Everything's looking pretty good. The goji berries here are doing good. And the blueberries, let me go see. I haven't checked on them in a little while. I think they're still looking a little messed up. I'm going to have to go ahead and get all the grass away from this stuff. This one here is looking pretty good. Still. Some weird looking mushroom here. I wonder what that is. And then the other one here, it's... I don't know, it's probably going to die off. We'll see what happens. And then... The garden. Still looking pretty good for the most part. tomatoes there got peppers coming along I have to go pick these beets you see that banana plant over there it's looking excellent Freaking huge leaves on that thing for the most part those pretty good year It is August 16th, 2020, and a couple of tomatoes have been switching over, starting to get ripe. Peppers are still doing good. My banana plant, though, I think I, I picked up the other day to move it. So I was getting more water from the uh, sprinkler, and when I did that, I pulled out some roots, and I think it might have messed with it. You see that leaf, the other leaves look a little bit darker, and they're kind of drooping down there. But, uh, I think I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and transplant over to a bigger pot here. And that's what I'm working on now. So still have all the potatoes that are in the ground. I'll have to dig that up later. And uh, I mean, all the peas are pretty much done for. But the tomatoes right here. The peppers. Still got some lettuce. The sunflowers are coming up. All the peanuts here. And then I got some more green beans. And then this weekend or sometime this week I'm going to go ahead and can up some pickles and then later on we'll get to eat some watermelon this here is a nice looking cantaloupe it's uh just about ready to be picked i'm gonna give it a couple more days there's a bunch of smaller ones throughout here of the uh of the melons there's one couple over here but yeah not too bad of a year but, uh, once we get all this picked out end up probably tilling it all back up again and getting ready for next year and go ahead and transfer over this banana plant here it is Got into the new pot and I'm going to sprinkle some dirt around or fill it up until it's well, right at the top there. And then I'll probably put it back in the garden and when it starts to get cold out I'll put it into the house. Here's the uh, Chinese five color pepper plant here. It's pretty hot. I'm about to try it out. Ooh. Oh my god, it's hot. Oh, that's way too hot. 
Here's that cantaloupe I was looking at uh, yesterday or two days ago. I rolled it over, but uh, it's getting kind of yellow now, so I'm going to go ahead and pick it. I want to get a video of me taking this thing off here, but it is uh, August 17th, 2020. I'm going to pick this thing off here, take it inside. I don't want something to happen to her to get rotten or something. Okay, here's the melon that I picked out. It is, I'm not totally sure how to pronounce it. Here is the packet for it though. Looked up, tried to figure out, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is a very good melon. I've already ate almost half of this thing. So sweet, so good. It looks like this might be the only one I'll get this year. Hopefully I get another one, but that's what it looks like. Pretty darn good. Just picked a couple cucumbers. Bring these inside, but look at this one right here. Pretty cool. I'm just gonna let it keep growing, see what happens. We got this nice one right here. There's a good looking one right there. It is. Got some more melons coming up. Probably my last two zucchini right there. But yeah, got some beans again. But the main thing I'm focused on today is uh, getting the beets canned up. The tomatoes, peppers too. There's a couple peppers coming, coming along here. Some right there, a bigger one there. Just got more of the tomatoes turning over. There goes some hummingbirds. There goes cherry tomatoes. Here's some more peppers. Whoa. Those were looking tasty. We got a bunch of these tomatoes turning over now. This here's the Beaver Lodge slicer. But as you can see, it just has a bunch of just like medium sized tomatoes. They don't get that big, but they get, there's just a bunch of them. And there's another one. And there's all the hot peppers right there in the Chinese five color. Swiss chard. Some more kale come back off of that one. Box over there. Making a mess. Splashing in the water. And here's all the beets. So this I'm gonna take out and can all these up. It's the last day of August, August 31st, 2020, and this is what the garden looks like now. I do have some peppers there, a bunch of cherry tomatoes. This here are the, are the uh, Ices Candy Cherry Tomato, There's Kellogg's Breakfast Tomato. And down here, see some really good looking peppers here as well. I forget the name, but I think, I thought these were a hot pepper. It might be like a sweet one, I forget. And then the red fig, 
cherry tomatoes are turning over. There's one. And then the Beaver Lodge Slicer, which has a good bit on there. I should probably go and take all these inside of there. It really sucks. Today's Monday. And uh, it takes a lot of work to can tomatoes up. You gotta skin them. It takes a good bit of time to do after work, but this weekend hopefully i still have a lot left and i can do it then but you can see a couple of these are rotten already and there's still some that are green so we'll have some more and then uh all these chinese five color peppers got a bunch of these but these things are hot i was ate one last week and i was like whoo set me on fire i want to make some kind of a hot sauce with these but that's what I got here to harvest still. And uh, still got the potatoes I got to dig up. I was hoping I would have a tractor by now so I can just uh, run the blade on the back of it across this and pop them out. But I might have to do it with the shovel. And then uh, there's also melons coming along. Still got some kale here. I'm going to take a leaf of that right now. Oh, man. Got one grape here. I dropped it. Yeah, a little bit of lettuce. Just the last little bit. Banana plant's still looking great. I'm going to bring this thing inside here soon. Got to figure out how I'm going to do that. Where I'm going to put it. And I got a lot of green beans I'm going to harvest again. I'll probably do that this weekend. A couple of melons here. So we got this banana melon. A big cantaloupe. And that's it. Melon. And one more cantaloupe right there. Yep. Last day of August. Those sunflowers look pretty though. I love seeing those things. I got one in a pot. I'm gonna put it out back on my deck. Here is the banana melon. Looks like I only got the one. That is it this year. And I got another cantaloupe here I'm gonna take in too. It's starting to rot a little bit. I got this little small guy. I'll let that one keep going for a little while longer. And then, uh, we got these little tiny melons right here. Which I just ate one. But it's just a really small watermelon. And then this one here, I believe, is the melon model. It's got a little rot in there. I'm going to take that one in and try it out. Looks like that's it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bring these in and I'll chop them up and see what's inside. Here is the melon model melon. And this is the Wilson Sweet Watermelon. I, forget, I don't know how to pronounce the name of this one exactly, but it's an orange flesh melon, and then this is the banana melon. I'm go ahead and try this out. Pretty good melon. This one here is so good. Mm. And this one here is great as well. And I'm gonna get into this later on, I think. And I'll save it for later on. But I'm gonna enjoy these today. Down there looks really nice for what I thought was gonna be all rotted. Looks pretty good in the inside. Same as this one. I'm gonna go enjoy these. Just went out in the garden and I picked all of the peppers. It is going to be 33 degrees tonight. 
and uh, supposed to be in the 30s the next three days. So, uh, yeah, I went ahead and went out there and just picked everything. It's uh, September 19th. And we got, well, right here is the yellow monster pepper. Just got one of those. And then we got the king of the north pepper, which is going to turn red there later on, it looks like. But I got this one, and I got one more. Then you have the Chinese five color pepper, which all these came off of one plant. And as you can see, yeah, you got the red, a yellow, orange, and purple. Some are kind of white too, like a whitish purple there. That one. But those are pretty hot. And then here's something new. First time I've grown these chocolate habanero pepper. You got these. I almost forgot about them. I grew these. So I wonder how hot they're going to be. And I'm not, too, not too sure how you say that. But that is a really good pepper. It's uh, pretty hot. And uh, But I had an older one today. And it was not as hot as the younger one I had. But still really good. It's not uh, not too crazy high, it's just the perfect heat, I feel like. It kind of cuts off kind of quick. And you got a bullnose pepper. Just got one of those small little guys. And uh, lemon drop pepper, which is a pretty hot pepper. And it sure turn yellow. It might turn yellow in the house here. But, um, yeah. It's a good amount of peppers, though, I got. And then got some tomatoes back here. This is the Ant Ruby green tomatoes and then a white beauty. And then uh other than that I got a there's a couple a lot of cherry tomatoes still out there. And then uh might be a couple of tomatoes I might be able to get out there. And there's potatoes. That's uh, pretty much it for the season. It, that was a pretty good Pretty good turnout for the peppers. Looks so pretty, all different colors. But that pretty much wraps up the season, I'd say. I say after tonight, we can get down that cold, get down to the 30s. Be 33, it says. And uh, I haven't got a fire going in the house. Looks like we're switching over to the fall time and winter will be here before we know it. All oh, those peanuts. All the potatoes. 